Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Tanner Lindsley. You can find me at github.com slash Tanner Lindsley. If you don't know how I am, you can go there, check me out, get to know me, uh, find me on a bunch of Slack organizations, talk to me. I love to chat. Today I want to tell you a little bit about React Static. React Static is a library that we built at Nozzle to build static progressive websites. It's really fast. Um, it'll probably change your life about the way you build marketing sites or any other website uh, that you need to rank on Google for, have good SEO. Um, it's amazing. And I just want to show you really quick how easy it is to get up and going with React Static. I'm going to open up a new terminal window here. And I'm, I'm going to install React Static. So I use Yarn, so Yarn Global, add React Static. Once you have React Static, then you can create a new project. I'm just going to go to my desktop here, and I'm going to use React Static Create. It's going to ask me to name my site. I'm just going to stick with my static site, and I'm going to go with the blank example this time because I want to show you how similar this is to Create React App. So I'm going to install a new blank example. It automatically installs the dependencies with Yarn. You can see my new little website right here. Pretty sweet couple more seconds, installing the dependencies. I'm just really excited to show you this. Okay, I've got our dependencies installed. You can see it was created in about 30 seconds, so we're going to CD into my static site. We're going to run yarn start or yarn build or yarn serve, depending which one you want to do. So let's CD into our new website. And I'm going to run yarn start because I want to develop my website. So it's going to start up a little server here for us. Ooh, it built our public directory in two milliseconds, our routes in two milliseconds, and the build was complete in three seconds. Now it's serving on localhost 3000. You can open up your favorite browser, go to localhost 3000. And you can see, it looks a lot like Create React App. Welcome to React Static. To get started, edit source slash app.js to save and reload. So we've already got a site running. I'm gonna open this in my favorite editor, Adam. Adam's going to pop up here, and it says to edit, edit source slash app.js. So I'm going to go into source slash app.js. Here we are. And what you can see here is pretty much the same exact thing that you're going to see from Create React App. If you want to edit some code, you just say, hey, this is me editing my React Static app. When you hit save, you can see it will auto. You can see it will auto reload your app. Um, we can actually put in a break tag there so it looks a little bit more interesting. There we go. Hey, this is me editing my Re React Static app. So now that we've got our app running, it's really simple now to let's just build it for production. So we're going to say, we're going to stop our server. We're going to say yarn build, and it's going to go out and build this site for production. Shouldn't take very long. Four and a half seconds. That's not bad. Once we're ready to deploy, it uh, it create it created a dist folder right here. And there's our website. We can upload this to anything we want. Netlify, uh, you could upload it to you know your FTP server from 1999. You could do whatever you want. And uh, just to test it out, we're going to run yarn serve, which just runs the disk folder to make sure that everything's looking good. So if we reload our page, this is our website. We just deployed it. It's live. And it's really fast. Come in here to the network panel and you can see just how fast it is. That entire home page just cost us 1.1 kilobytes. Oh, actually it was 834 bytes after gzip. Um, loaded our app.js file, which is probably pretty small. It looks like it was uh, about 100 kilobytes. Nope, 32 kilobytes after gzip. That's not bad. 
Um, yeah, that's it. We've got our logo in there. We got some CSS that we put in there. This is how fast it is to get up and running with React Static. Um, be sure to check out React Static on GitHub. It's github.com slash nozzle React Static. You can read more about it there. You can find more videos. You can submit issues, pull requests. Um, you can hit us up for chatting on Slack right here. Uh, be sure to give us a star so we can uh, keep growing and get to know us a little bit better. We've got great examples here that you can use. We've got the basic or the blank one that we just did. We've got a basic one, custom routing, my favorite one, style components. We even got some TypeScript stuff for you TypeScript fans out there. Um, yeah, we're really excited about it. So uh, come drop by and give it a try. Thanks.